So today we are playing the World Climate uh, Interactive Roleplay and what they do here is that they negotiate over the terms of the CO2 uh, reductions just like at the United Nations Climate Talks. So the uh, objectives of this role play is that students learn about the complexity of climate change, um, one of the most important applications of system dynamics in the real world, and finally they learn about how to negotiate. In recognition of the importance of the COP21 summit right now happening in Paris, we are simulating our very own climate change um, negotiations here at ESB. Uh, I'm an environmental activist and my role here is to go around and talk to the delegations and press the urgency of the issue. So it's not an issue that could happen tomorrow, it's an issue that's happening right now. It's fascinating how students dive into their roles, so they are very much into it, and that's so great about this game. Um, I am representing China, actually. We are the representatives of the United States in this World Climate Conference game. Part of a delegation of India. Well, I'm a um, delegate of the other developing nations, um, Part of us is uh, the, from Indonesia, from Pakistan, Brazil, other countries in South America. Chinese official delegate that I play as a player, even if I'm not from China, even if I look like so. I really like this game. I like the thing that uh, we do the simulation because most of the time people don't actually get the point of views from other countries because they are in their roles and by doing this role switching um, it helps us to understand other countries, other people's uh, opinion. Uh, the role play was uh, developed by uh, the American nonprofit organization Climate Interactive together with the MIT Sloan School. And the nice thing about this role play is that uh, we can test the pledges that the students here develop. So we put these numbers into this computer model, which is called C Roads, and uh, we can see the impacts right away. And so we see that um, the pledges in the first round weren't enough. So currently what they do is that they are in the second round of negotiation uh, to actually cut down emissions even further. I think uh, it's uh, fantastic that we are uh, participating in these talks here and it gives us a chance to practice our negotiation skills here, uh, talking to the other countries, to the other delegates. Uh, according like to the same, we all, all of us are moving to the same path, like just trying to reduce uh, CO2 emissions. So that's what we are doing and how to reduce it. It's not only about making a lot of money and a lot of profit from my business, but it's more like universal tasks that I have to be concerned with. So um, because of these insights that this game gives me, I see this is really um, important for every student, especially business students as well. And we will not only uh, provide um, financial assistance, but also intellectual. So we will uh, provide them with know-how and with technology to improve um, their measures. So we play this role play every semester with the uh, classes. And uh, as we are in close touch with the people at Climate Interactive, we actually keep the knowledge and the, uh, the handouts totally up to date. We, are always, we always have state-of-the-art uh, models and handouts for the students to work with. <laughs>